na because it's like 2021 let's get out of our comfort zone um, usually kasi parang mayayin talaga ako <laughs> ewan ko kung totoo yun from other people Hello guys, the nurse is out! <laughs> Hello guys, um, welcome to my channel, welcome to the nurses out. My name is Chris. For those who don't know me yet, um, I'm a registered nurse here in um, Toronto, Canada. I work as an ICU in one of the hospitals. In, in downtown Toronto so for today's um, video I'm gonna share to you how I become a registered nurse here in Canada from the Philippines so I migrated here in December 2010 December 2010 I got petitioned by my mom who already lived here in Canada for for two years um, before she petitioned me as a dependent child so in terms of um, immigration process I'm not 100% sure on how it works now because um, every time they always change the, the process but right now I'm just gonna share to you um, my journey how I become a registered nurse here so but I graduated in the Philippines um, as, a, as a nurse in early Lady of Fatima University so four years um, nursing program and then I practice as a volunteer registered nurse in uh, one of the hospital there um, for almost like a year and then I moved here in, in Canada so when I arrived um, that's the only time that I started the application because back in the Philippines I don't know yet like how it works like how it's the processing um, so when I arrived here, I, I researched on how to become a, a registered nurse here. So I find out that there's a re regulatory body in in the specific provinces. So I live in Ontario, so there's a regulatory body, which um, which is the College of Nurses of Ontario. So if you go to a different provinces, they do have a different regulatory body. So for my case, it's a CNO. So I submitted all my credentials um, from the Philippines and I applied for for RPN and RN. Actually here in in Canada there is uh, three types of nurses. So namely RPN which is registered practical nurse, RN which is a registered nurse and NP which is a nurse practitioner. So I applied for RPN and RN at the time so I was told um, apply for RPN because it's an easy way to to get going or I mean kasi mabilis yung process pag daw RPN because um, RPN here it will only take you two years um, rather than um, doing an RN which is like a four years of education so in two years na yun education yun so anyway so I apply for both um, RPN and RN then I got my RPN license in 2012 so pretty much it took me more than a year um, while my RN it took me a while I think it took me almost like four to five years before I got registered as an RNR and then there's a lot of like backstory um, also behind it so so anyway so I got my RPN um, during that time is it's still quite hard to to be employed I don't know because I have I don't have any um, Canadian experience so I decided to go back to school in Centennial College 
it's like a bridging program for international educated nurse. It's a one year um program, a one year um bridging program for international if you wanna pursue your um education to a Canadian degree. So anyways, I finished that one. So it kind of like helped me to be more marketable in terms of employment. So after I finished the program, um, I, um, well, become more marketable. I, I received some calls from employers um, for RPN. And at the same time, I received my um, result um, for my RN. And unfortunately, I was not eligible um, to to practice as an RN because my educational standard didn't meet the Canadian start standard at that time. So, so again, I researched because I really want to push, um, you know, my RN. I really want to work as a registered nurse here. Only because there's a really more opportunity. Not that I'm saying um, there's less opportunity for RN, but yeah, it's just like more option for me to, to grow. So, while working um, as an RPN, I applied to different school again, like, because based on a CNO, oh, I'm sorry guys, I, I, nawala ako. So, yun, so, based sa CNO, I have to, like, do further studies, or, so, basically, go back to school. So, so I went back to school again um, in one of the university here in um, Toronto. So the program took me about 20 months before I finish it. So so after I finish it, um, I took the NCLEX. So that's in 2000, um, I think 17, 2017. And then because at the same time when I was like work, King, I was studying so I was like working as an RP, uh, RPN part-time RPN and then studying for my um, RN degree in Canada so after I got my RN license my manager hired me um, where I work as an RPN as a registered nurse so it was a fast turnover for me and then few weeks after I passed my NCLEX, I applied for a critical care um, nursing program in one of the hospitals in Toronto where I currently work right now. So they sponsored me to, to do a uh, critical care nursing. So pretty much it's, a, it's a, a sponsor so they pay for everything like the tuition fee and your salary in the duration of the program. So the program um, took me about three months before I, I got my um, critical care certificate. So pretty much that's it. So it took me quite a long journey before I become a registered nurse here. Yeah, that's it. So if you have any question, just feel free to message or comment below. Um, there's a lot of like backstory um, behind my journey on how I became an RPN or RN or how I be, how I enroll or how I apply in the different schools here in Canada as an international. It might be different from other people because it's always like, you know, case-to-case -case basis. They have their own experience and I have my own. So hopefully um, this can um, inspire or motivate other people who've been through or going through the same experience as I did like long time ago. Educated nurse. So you know.